give a bit of thought to what exactly tags mean. Now, HTML consists of HTML elements. Now, these elements are known as tags. So, all these elements you see over here, for example, P, HTML, and we will see more of several of them throughout this tutorial series. These are known as tags. So, a tag is basically in between a pair of angular brackets, as you see over here. So, this is opening and closing angular bracket, which is a less than sign and a greater than sign. So, start tags mostly have an end tag. End tags look like this. So, a P has a start tag, which is P in between angular brackets, and the end tag has a forward slash character between angular brackets along with P. So, this denotes the closing tag. So, every start tag will see some exceptions, but every start tag for the time being has a closing tag like this. The set of HTML and slash HTML tags tell the browser where the HTML document starts and where it ends. So, for example, our HTML document starts on the first line which says HTML and ends on the tenth line which says slash HTML. So, slash HTML means, hey, this is the end of HTML. This is where the HTML document comes to an end. And browser knows that, okay, so it is done with parsing the entire document. It has interpreted the document as for the tags that we have given it to them. So go ahead and open up codepen.io now. Um, just, I'll just show you what it happens when you open up codepen.io. Okay, let me actually take a new browser because I'm signed into it right now so that I can show you how it appears in the first. So we can just click on new pen. When we click on new pen, we have a place where we can type HTML, CSS, JavaScript. You can just untick these options for the time being because we're not going to use CSS and JavaScript at least for this particular tutorial. We'll be doing it more in future tutorials hopefully. So just go ahead and open up a codepen.io slash pen page and start writing some HTML code. See for yourself how exactly HTML opens and closes and what all for the, for the time being you can just play around with p tags and there's more coming around.